enjoy. Okay, so welcome everyone and thanks for attending to this uh, talk about UNI. But first, before uh, explaining what UNI is about, I would like to get some feedback from you. So please raise your hands, those who already know or use already uh, the SUSE Manager, Spacewalk, Red Cat Satellite, or even UNI itself. Well, not so many. Okay, so let me present ourselves. With me today is uh, Pablo Suarez, who is uh, one of our Python developers, and Julio Gonzalez, and the release engineer for both SUSE Manager and UUNI. So, what is UUNI? UUNI is a software that is going to allow you to take care of all of your systems, the configuration, the audits for all the problems that they can have, uh, the promotion of uh, packages, and when we are talking about uh, workloads in this case, all kind of workloads, it's because this will allow you to take care of the bare metal systems, virtualize it on cloud or even container images, uh, container Im containers and images for containers. So you can automate the audit and the reporting capabilities if you want to look uh, which images or instances are affected for any kind of CDE or things like that. And you can also keep standard configurations for group of systems in this case, we are using SALT for pretty much everything as we will show at the demos as well. So, some examples, but we are not going to see all of them today, is that you could build the container images, in this case for Docker. You could audit the CVEs, and as soon as you find that any images or systems are affected, with just one click, you can fix all the problems. You could define different stages. Well, they usually when you are making development is that you have a development environment, then test, then production, and you want to promote things from one environment to the other. Not only packages, but configurations as, uh, configurations as well. So you can do it. And uh, you can also schedule chains, uh, action chains for the systems. Say that, for example, you want first to install a package, the Linux kernel, then you want to reboot, and then you want to check that the system is patched, you can do this with the action chains. Now about the name Uyuni, it's because of that. Because we are using salt for almost everything, and the Salar of Uyuni is the world's largest salt flat uh, that you can find. So. The origins of Uyuni, for those that uh, already know about Spacewalk, is just this. Spacewalk is a free and open source project that was born uh, yeah, a little bit more than 10 years uh, ago. It's the base for Red Hat Satellite 5, but not 6, and for SUSE Manager up to version 3.2, which is the current one. But, well, the two main problems with uh, Spacewalk right now is that uh, Spacewalk is in a maintenance mode, um, well, there are still releases, but uh, yeah, let's say that they are not adding really new features to, to Spacewalk. So there are no, no clear plans for the future. So Uyuni is a branch of a Spacewalk which offers simple installation. If you try to install it, you will see that it's just a matter of adding a repository, installing a, installing a pattern of packages, and then run a really, really easy just set up. We added configuration management with salt, uh, but once again we are not using it only for configuration management. We integrate with Kubernetes and as I already mentioned we can take care of images for containers. We changed the web UI or most of the web UI to React JS uh, and we are migrating everything from Python 2 to Python 3 and switching the Java stack so it supports JDK 11. This is, this is for the next two versions. So if you try the Uyuni stable version right now, it still does not have this. About the releasing, when instead of uh, having releases that we are going to maintain for a long time, we are going to do rolling releasing. More or less similar to what the Tumbleweed or other distrib distributions are doing. We only have one version that uh, it's considered as a stable, and each more or less two months, we are releasing a new version. And this is interesting for a lot of people because we are not going to have a separate community and enterprise edition. 
So while it is true that Uyun is going to be the upstream for SUSE Manager, we will have all the futures first on Uyuni, and then SUSE Manager will be only the, yeah, the enterprise version with the difference that you, you will have paid support at any time. But other than that, we will not have something, that a fut something like a future that is in, a is in a uni, but it is not on SUSE Manager. So this is our current situation. Uh, we started working on this more than one year ago, but since uh, a few months, we already have all the code published at uh, GitHub. We are making the development uh, there on their GitHub repository. So you can see all the pull requests, etc. We have IOC channel, mailing list, as I mentioned, already a couple of releases since October. And right now, Uyunis is still based on OpenSUSE Leap 42.3, but we are changing that soon. And as client systems, we support CentOS and Red Hat. So, so Red Hat is not really tested right now, but it should work. OpenSUSE and Sleep. But in the upcoming months, as a base system for the server and the proxy, where you are managing everything, we will support Leap 15, and we are adding support for Ubuntu as clients. Um, possibly Debian is on the way as well. We are going to rewrite all the documentation. We are going to make a public continuous integration, which we don't have right now. And more important, we will continue building the community, hopefully with your help as well. Uh, we are moving all our issues and internal stuff to the public repository, so it will be possible to see at any moment what we are doing, make suggestions, or even help us. And now I think it is time for Pablo to show some demos. I hope you can actually hear me. Okay, so let's start then doing a demo. Let's increase a bit the fonts so you can actually see it better. Okay, so this is uh, the front end of Uyuni, okay? The UI of Uyuni. First thing, we can just log in. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing that we got when we log inside the uni is this overview page. Here, as you can see, uh, you have in a glance like the status, the actual status of your infrastructure, right? You see the most critical system that you have here, uh, telling you that, okay, you, we have security patches and stuff that we will need to, to, to apply. Uh, we have also some action, the, the most recent actions, and yeah, like an overview of uh, your infrastructure, the current status, okay? Um, let's go then to the system page. Currently, our infrastructure here for the demo has this system register. As you can see, they all are listed as salt type because they are all salt minion. We are not, we, not, we don't have here at the moment any of the all Facebook traditional stack. We are here now dealing with minions. Um, and as you can see as well, uh, there are a few different OS there. Um, here in the system tab, of course, we can define groups of systems. We can also select few systems here and uh, schedule action to target that particular uh, system set that you just uh, select. We have a page, as we will see later, for bootstrapping new systems. Very easy way. Uh, yeah, different stuff here. Also, visualization, if you want to show your the, 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 the hierarchy and the proxies and all the stuff, right? In a visual way. Um, next, 
important page to see here is the software page. Here, these are the software channels that we have currently configured here in our uh, Uyuni instance. So we have the channels for SD12, SD4. We have channels also for the OpenSUSE one. We have CentOS channels there. So if you go to one of those, let's go here just by, for example, you have the information about these particular channels. You can see the patches in case that there are any. You have all the information rel related to that particular channel. All the packets listed here, information about the packages, yeah, and so on and so on. For a package, you see that we have dependencies, the file, even the file list, and so we have the complete information of all the software provided provided by our uh, software channels here. Same page about the patches, not packages, but the patches. You have here all the patches provided by your uh, defined channels. You can see here, you will see the information about this particular uh, patch. You can also, uh, you have the links to the Baxilla reports and so on and so on. In case that this is the of CDE, you will also see the reference here. Then we have an image, as Julio was mentioning, we can build images, we can set up the register, uh, yeah, image registering and so on. So this has also uh, the interface here. Um, and we have the salt. These are the keys, the salt minion keys that we have already accept for the minions that are inside of our cluster. Um, we have, as we will see later, a remote command page and well, one thing I want to mention here is that, as you can see, these are minions. We are manage, managing so far those minions from the UI, but these are normal minions. You can go, go also to the command line and use the, the, the normal salt, uh, asterisk, and then perform whatever action, because those are part of the your salt uh, cluster, okay? We have formula catalog. This is an, uh, one of the one cool feature that we have. So these are some formulas. I'm not sure if you are more or less aware of this concept of formula, but the nice, um, the cool thing here is that you can easily import salt formulas inside of Uni, and then with some very basic metadata, you are able to generate a form in the UI where you can easily fill the required uh, uh, settings for applying that formula. We will see that later. Okay, so let's take a look at one of the things, the system that we have registered here. Let's say this uh, minion. And that's the overview page of the system. We have here, well, it looks like this <laughs> has some critical uh, um, patches that need to be applied. But in summary, we have the system information, IP, the type of the system, this is salt, and this is also working in the default contact method, which is the, the pool method. So it has a salt minion service running, and, uh, the, uh, 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 and it's, the, uh, it's uh, subscribed to the salt uh, master, okay? Mm. Here we have also hardware information, what's this machine about, all the hardware information, and we have the software profile. Let's go to this. So this is the all packages installed on that particular system. The one of the powerful thing here is that even if I installed new packages through the UI or, I, or 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 remove packages or I do it via the command line, via zipper or jam, um, this list here is the actual state of the packages. So if, even if I uh, run manually jam install, super install, once the package is installed on that system, it will be reported back to the Uni uh, server. So we always have here the updated software profile for that system. We can perform here uh, remove packages, upgrade packages, install new stuff. Um, but let's go, let's go to this uh, state. Ah. These are sold minions. So there is a high state 
here, rendered for the, according to all the settings that we have set for this uh, uh, system, the software channel assigned, uh, some properties, states that we have, configuration channels that we have assigned here, all of this, even the formulas, you will see that this is, this all is now part of this uh, render high state. We have package install and so on and so on. And of course we can schedule here to apply the high state in a particular uh, maintenance window or, or as uh, Julio was mentioned, as part of, of a more complex action chain. Uh, we can run into the test mode, which is actually cool. And then we have this package state where we can basically uh, select a package and we can define a very easy state with no salt or YAML involved where we, we said, okay, we want this package as the latest version or we want this package removed. So it's an easy way to define a very simple package state that they, they are then, the, 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 the state will be injected into the high state and once you apply it, everything will be applied. Configuration channels. What is that? I have actually said for this particular system, there is a web server configuration channel. Let's take a look. This is basically, well, as you can see, this is a, a, a very uh, simple uh, soul state, but we can actually edit. It. So this is the web server configuration channel. We can create configuration state channels, which are basically soul state. We can add also additional files for, 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 the, 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 for applying the state, and this is how it looks like. One cool feature here is that we have revisions for the state. So in case that you now change something here, it will create another revision. Of course, you can also roll back if your state is not working as expected, okay? Let's go back to the uh, system again. Okay, we were in the states. And let's take a look at formulas. So these are the formulas that we have for salt in the formula catalog. And as I told you, if I, for example, said, okay, I want the locale formula for this system, then it will add this locale tab here, and it will render for you a form in the UI where you can fill the data. You, I, can, I can set, okay, the time zone for this is not this, it's green bit time. I save this, the formula is saved, and if I go now to the, to the state and see the high state, it's rendering now, you will see that we have actually here the time zone definition there. Let's try to apply this high state. Let's see what happens. This is the live demo. <laughs> the team is expected here. So I schedule the execution of the high state. If I go to events, I will see there is no pending event. Let's go to the history. And I see that the apply high state was already executed. I can go there. I see the output of this high state that was applied. You see, for example, that the information, the part of the high state which is coming from the or configuration channels or formulas are actually highlighted in this output. And all the, 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 the configuration stuff that is uh, basically coming from the unit configuration. So as you can see here, we are operating. We are in, uh, uh, scheduling high state, applying formulas, uh, installing patches, where everything is running salt and the hood. So Every action that we made from the UI or even from the API, it's all then uh, converted into a salt call under the hood, which is the, the one that is executed. Let's see what, how we are with the time. Okay, five minutes. Let's do one more thing here. Let's try to bootstrap a new system. I want to include a new system on, on our cluster. What I need to do? What I need is an SSH connection and a, <laughs> and a system where I will try this. So let, I have one here. This is SSH. This is SSH. Not local. Hopefully, it will not crash. And look at this. 
I told you that the register system that we have were all using salt in the default contact method, which is installed in the salt minimum service. But we can actually check this box here, which says that manage system completely via SSH. So for this case, we are registering the, registering the system in an SSH push contact method way. So it will be using salt SSH under the hood. So there is no salt minion installed there. Let's try to do this. And in the meanwhile, okay, we are oh, we are only five minutes left. Yeah, let me just quickly go here. I'm not executing this. Oh, sorry. So since we are running out of time, I just want to show the space, this is a very powerful so since we have the software profile for all our infrastructure here we can actually make easily uh, audit for example for a CVE, I can just search for this one and I click here and I will audit, audit our servers, not only servers but also the images if we build images from here we can also audit, audit them and in case that there is some CVE software affected by some CVE it will be uh, shown here so you will see that we have those two. We have a patch for fixing the issue. So we can just go here and apply the patch. Okay, it has been scheduled and done. As you can see here, our new SSH minion was registered. If we click here, we will see that it was registered and the contact method now is push via SSH. We are running out of time, so we would like to give you some time in case that you want to ask, 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 ask some questions. Um, so that's basically just please reach us later if you want for asking you uh, for asking or, or even for, for uh, doing a more concrete demo if you want. So this is now community resources. We have uh, the page of the project, the, the GitHub repository, Twitter. We have a mailing list, and we are all available at the uni channel at Primo. Uh, so that's basically it. Thank you.